Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are going over mixed numbers. What are mixed numbers? Mixed numbers are basically a way of representing a quantity that is comprised of a whole and a part. So for example, let's talk about pizza consumption here because I think that's a very uh, enjoyable topic to bring into mathematics. Let's say you've consumed three slices of pizza. Well then you wouldn't need to represent that using a mixed number because you've only got a whole, not a part as well as a whole. Let me just write that out. It's a way to represent a whole and a part. So if we have a number like three, three slices of pizza, you can't represent that with a mixed number because you've only got a whole. But let's say you ate half a slice of pizza. I don't know why anybody would ever do that. But again, you couldn't represent that as a mixed number because then you've only got a part and no whole. But if you ate three and a half slices of pizza, then we can start talking about mixed numbers because then you have your whole three and your part a half. If you were to represent that as an improper fraction, that would be seven divided by two. That's seven halves. So if we represented that as a mixed number, the other way we could represent that, of course, we've got seven halves, or you could write it as 3.5, but then as a mixed number, well, we can ask how many times does two go into seven? It goes into seven three times, and that leaves us one half. So we just put one half right next to the three. And this is the anatomy of a mixed number. You've got your whole, and then you've got your part just placed right next to it. Honestly, it's kind of a sloppy notation that doesn't really work well when you're trying to do computations and arithmetic, but it can be very advantageous uh, for communicating numbers and quantities, and is usually the way you're going to want your numbers uh, written or expressed when you're sort of discussing them, right? You wouldn't say, I ate seven halves of pizza. You would say, I ate three and a half slices, which is sort of the English equivalent equivalent of the mixed number. You say your whole and then immediately follow that with your part and that is what a mixed number is. So for it to be a mixed number you need this this bit over here next to your whole to be a proper fraction. If I uh, you've got your whole and then you've got your uh, part which is just I wish I could write it as a part. I'm just gonna write it A over B. You've got your whole number and then you've got your A over B this is your part, which has to be a proper fraction. So for example, if I wrote a mixed number, um, three and let's say three halves, this is an improper fraction. I would not want to write my mixed number like this. This is a very foolish thing to do because of course I can add another whole to this because I have an improper fraction here. So I would actually want to write this as four and a half, of course. If you ate four and a half slices of pizza, uh, people would think you're absolutely loony if you said, I ate three and three halves slices of pizza. That's not how we represent quantities. This is a perfectly fine way to do it though. So that's what mixed numbers are. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos on mixed numbers and sort of the arithmetic of using them and converting between decimals and improper fractions and all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions, clarifications, or video requests. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes everything.